was riding over the weekend and I hit pretty hard and I kind of did work here to my rear sway bar. I was reading a lot of forums about how as long as you're not driving fast and doing a rally style ride, it's good to pull them off for trail riding. It allows you to have a lot more clearance up and down between your shocks on either side. So I'm opted to just go ahead and pull it out and see how it does. So I'm gonna pull the front and rear out and see how it goes. But it should be easy. You got these couple brackets holding it in on here, here, a little thing of grease and then half inch bolt here and then one on the bottom down here as well. I'm uh, going to pull this one out and we'll uh, see how it goes. So after you get the wrench on the top, look at this. You should get it loose because obviously it's in there pretty good. You just Pushing comes out, steering rod comes up at the top. There she is. Step one done. This side's out. Go over, do the same thing on the opposite side, and then we'll pull those carriage bolts going across off. Boom, bushing is out. Come up to the top. And this guy should be pretty free and loose now. Have a look, see. Yep. She's free and she's good. And go ahead and pull that side out now. So, your next step is take off one two, three, and four on the other side, and this whole assembly will just pop right out. Then your sway bar is out. Easy day. Then you won't have to worry about it anymore. All right, so I got the sway bar all the way out. One thing I noticed was when you pull off these screws here and here on both sides, this whole back plate comes off but then the exhaust doesn't have a, a place to mount to. So I just removed the sway bar and then reinstalled so the exhaust stays good and firm where it's at. So just make sure that you reinstall that so your exhaust isn't bouncing around. That's it for the first part. Let's go do the front. The front's real quick, it's pretty simple. Um, so what we'll do is I've already loosened everything. You're gonna take off this bolt and this bolt, and then you're gonna take off this bolt and this bolt up here. Now, as you do it, I'll show you, I already, I hand did it so it's real easy. You'll take this one off too. I don't know if you guys can see that because the light's kind of shitty, but pops off the other side. This guy pulls out, you pull the sway bar out. Now the trick is, when you go to put the nut on, there's all this extra space down there on the bottom. So what I do is I just take the bolt from the top and swap with the bolt on the bottom and it actually works out perfect. So you just pop this one out. Hang on a second. Pull that one out. Put that one in. And then just put your nut in your washer like so. Where did I want that go? Right here. You'll tighten everything up. You'll pull this thing off. And I think I might just take and zip tie mine up out of the way like that. Because then if you ever want to put it back on there to sell it or ride faster terrain or whatever, you can do that. Just a little zip tie to the frame right there. You'll never even know it's there. And 
you just do the same thing on the other side and boom there you are longer travel for your trails and very simple and uh make this baby ride like a cadillac that's all for the sway bar delete hope you guys enjoyed it remember just a half inch wrench and uh for the bigger bolt you're gonna need a i think it's a 9 16 yep 11 16 but yeah just that that that's all it takes do it on both sides and you're good